Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. Welcome to another official leak by Supercell. In fact, the shipwreck has been leaked so many times since November of 2016, I don't really even want to call it a leak anymore. We're going to call it an unofficial official sneak peek. So this image, the most popular image going around on the internet right now for COC, was posted I think on Thursday on the official French COC Facebook page. Apparently it only went up on the French page and uh, I don't know if Supercell done it on purpose but it's basically a hog rider and a giant, I don't know what level they are, playing a game of COC chess. You can see the town hall in the center, a cannon, an archer tower, there's a mortar, a clan castle surrounded by some walls. On the right hand side the hog rider has deployed some max level dragons to take down the town hall and on the left hand side right next to the giant's left hand there's an object, and obviously it's a ship. It's a shipwreck, guys. It's not a shipwreck. The ship is actually built, and it appears to be attacking this base. Or could it be defending? I don't really know. Now, the reason why this image is so popular right now, some people are saying that this could be a new game mode 2v2. Could the Hog Rider and the Giant be taking on the Town Hall at the same time? Who knows, guys? Could the Hog Rider be attacking and the Giant may be defending? I really don't have a clue. All we know is the ship is definitely coming into the game. It's kind of like, as I said, an unofficial sneak peek from Supercell. We've seen it so many times since November of 2016 that it's, it's just got to be guaranteed. And I really do think it's coming. So do me a favor. If you've made it this far into the episode, let me know what is your honest opinion on the shipwreck. What do you really think it's going to do and bring into the game? Will it be used to attack? Will it be used to defend? Will it be used to grab loot? My subscribers, if you've made it this far, let me know down below. Let's start a conversation. Let's get some controversial ideas going and see what everyone's opinion on this are. Now, please, if you've made it this far into the episode, leave a like if you are still hyped for this update, guys. I know it's been such a long time in the making, but trust me when I say it will be coming, guys. So just stay tuned for it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the official sneak peeks when they are released. We're almost at 1.5 million subs, guys. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the update leak or official, unofficial sneak peek. We're gonna get ourselves into the rest of the video, and I think it's time we try to complete the Raging Wizards event. Hey, welcome back everyone. General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to the Captain Tony account. So I'm guessing at the start of the video, I showed you the most recent update, which was posted pretty much everywhere on the internet. If you've made it this far in the episode, please do not forget to let me know down below in that comment section what are your thoughts and opinions on the most recent update and the shipwreck in general. But for now, we are going to continue with the maxing out of Captain Tony because we are about to embark on Town Hall Level 7, guys. This is going to be a really cool episode and we're going to start it off by hopefully completing the Raging Wizards event. We've done 5 out of 10 so far, so we are officially 50% the way through. I do want those 300 experience points and I also want those 100 gems so we still have 2 days and 15 hours to complete the challenge guys but check this out 1.5 million gold in our gold storage 1.3 million elixir inside of the elixir storage and we have 0 out of 5 builders free now we're shortly as I said going to be embarking on town hall level 7 because we've almost maxed out every single thing in this town hall 6 base guys now we do need a builder because I want to I want to see if we can get an upgrade going. And we're going to upgrade. I think one of the, the only things left we have left to upgrade are these army camps. And then the collectors and a few traps. And I think one level on this air defense and then we're done. So we're going to start this off by upgrading this army camp right here, guys. We are going to need to gem one of those uh, one of the builders free. I think we just gemmed that gold mine to level 6. But now... We only have one army camp left to upgrade, so that's cool. So we're going to get ourselves into a couple of live attacks, and we're going to see how much more loot we can raise. So check it out. The army we're using is nine wizards. We only need to use a maximum of, uh, sorry, a minimum of eight, but we're using nine because I really like the wizards. And uh, General Tony has been donating me some baby dragons, some wizards, and some archers. So we got a really cool army going. Let's get ourselves into a live attack and see if we can pick up some more loot inside of the uh, the silver 2 silver 3 league hoping to try and make my way towards maybe the crystal league as a town or seven that should be awesome and there should be some really cool loot inside of those leagues let me know guys if you're town or six town or seven town or eight where is currently the best place to farm i'm gonna try and you know get there as quickly as i can so let's see if we can find a base not too bad at all 
This base is not looking too bad, guys. 180,000 gold, 150,000 elixir. Let's see if we can three-star it. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can pick up a three-star on this base. So we're going to start this off by actually dropping in some wall breakers right there, guys. Going to see if we can get these giants to go right into the center and do some damage. So we're going to start off with a little bit of a spread. Wizard's going to go in just behind, and the archer's going to fall in just behind them. And uh, going to see how much of the loot we can grab. Going to take out that cheeky cannon there. And a couple more archers just behind, guys. And we should technically be able to three-star this base using the uh, the uh, the clan castle as well. So check it out. First heal spell goes down in the center. Trying to take out those mortars as quickly as we can. And also want to grab that air defense because I do have a baby dragon inside of my uh, my attacking clan castle. So here we go. We're going to drop down the CC over on the right hand side, guys. A baby dragon is going to come out of there. Max level wizards as well. Now they are going to get taken out possibly by that wizard tower, but they still seem to be standing. Here we go. Max level baby dragon for anyone that doesn't know, is an absolute beast against these low-level town halls, guys. Check it out. It's going to go straight into the town hall. Take that out. The max level wizards, level 7s, going around the right-hand side of the base. 63% has been secured so far. I have already picked up nearly every penny of the loot. We're going to drop down a heal spell. See if I can keep that baby dragon alive, guys. But it looks like it's going to be going down to the level 4 air defense. Unfortunately... It was taken out, but it still allowed me to do so much damage to the base. And this is going to be win number six for the Raging Wizards event. And we haven't even unlocked the Rage Spells yet, so it's kind of strange. The Raging Wizards, but with Heal Spells instead. So we're going to go ahead and end this battle here. We got a total of 170 plus thousand gold, 150,000 elixir, and also another 17 trophies to add to my trophy count, guys. Taking us to almost 1,200 so far. And my personal best is 1,198, so we should be beating that here in this episode right now. So let's get ourselves another army ready, and uh, let's go in for another live attack. Here we go, we're going to gem up some uh, some army, going to gem up some spells. Let's bring ourselves another heal spell, guys, and uh, we can get ourselves into another live attack. 6 out of 10 has been completed so far. We've also got 1.7 million gold, so we could upgrade some walls. Let's do it. Let's let's find ourselves that collector. Here we go. We're going to gem that. That's going to go straight to level 6. And we've got 1.7 million gold to spend on walls. Now, I don't think we have anything left to upgrade. Air Sweeper is currently max level. Wizard Towers are max level. Mortars are all max level. Cannons max level. Archer Towers all max level. The only defense we have left to upgrade, once that is gone to level 3... We can send it to level 4, and that one is currently going to level 4, guys. So all we have left is one single air defense. So you know what? We could upgrade the Town Hall 6 to Town Hall 7, guys. But before we do, let's just get ourselves all of these walls upgraded. 1.5 million gold, and there you go. A whole lane of purple walls. And now we've only got 219,000 gold remaining. We're going to get ourselves into one final live attack, guys. And then we should be able to grab enough elixir to actually upgrade... The final army camp, which is sitting right over... Where is it? Here. This is it here, guys. We only need another 100 and about 110,000 elixir. That shouldn't be too hard. Let's see if we can do that right now inside of this live attack. So we're going to look for, an, you know, for a, for a base which is holding somewhere around 200,000 elixir. Fingers crossed we can do it. And then we can upgrade the final army camp. And then I think it's time to go to Town Hall 7. So that would be cool. And we have landed straight onto a Town Hall level 7. Looks a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie, but there is a great chance we can three-star this base. All the mortars are, you know, packed together in the center. So we're going to start this off by dropping in some archers because I do want to break the 1200 trophy mark as well. And uh, let's get these wall breakers going in, guys. So there goes a, a giant. Okay, they have some, you know, some balloons inside of the clan castle. I'm not going to lie. That's a little bit scary. I don't know if we're going to be able to even get a one-star because these balloons are hella OP, but... They are only level 6, they're not maxed out. Sorry, they're level 7, are they? No, level 6. They're level 6, guys. Hopefully we can take them out. There is three of them. It is going to be a little bit scary. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can take out these balloons. So they're going to take out that first archer. We're going to drop in a giant just there, guys. And then a couple of wizards to get a couple of shots in on those balloons. Can we get some splash damage on them, though? I'm not really too sure, guys. The, uh, the wizards actually took out the army camps, but here we go. And they're going to... Oh, damn! 
We just lost three wizards, so we're going to drop down some of these archers instead. Going to pick off, hopefully, that final balloon. And then we can move in. Sorry, there's a fly right in front of me, guys. Then we can move in for our final life strike on the base. So here we go. We can do this now. We've still got two wall breakers remaining. So we're going to drop in all these giants. Here we go. Wall breakers going to go in. Archer's going to go in just behind. Now, we do have the double heal spell, guys. So this should be cool. Wizard's going to go in just behind there. And hopefully we can make our way into the core of this base, grab as much elixir and gold as possible, and, uh, you know, completely take this base out. So let's find out what's about to happen. Heal spell's going to go down, keeping those giants alive. Should make their way through the level 5 walls, no problem at all. Here we go. Half of the wall HP has already been taken out. The wizard's moving in on the right-hand side now as well, doing some shots on these elixir collectors. May need to use the second heal spell on the wizard's. Let's just find out and see what happens. Here we go. Heal spell's going to go down, guys, right in the middle, keeping the giants and the wizards alive at the, uh, you know, the same time. So it should be great. Here we go. Wizards now moving in on the base. Looks like we are losing multiple wizards, though, but we should be able to grab this town hall, hopefully, and pick ourselves up some extra trophies, guys. There is 34 trophies on offer. We got a wizard taking out the, uh, the town hall. Another one taking out the... Air defense on the left hand side. This is going to be so close guys, but it looks like we aren't going to be getting a victory here and we will be walking away with a loss. Damn. So a single archer to save the day. Will she be able to do it? I don't think so guys. Only 26 seconds left inside of the battle. Let's just see if this elixir collector is going to give us 3%. I really don't think it's going to happen, but let's find out guys. Here we go. Elixir collector is going to go down 49% zero star on the base. RIP archer. RIP GT, and that is the first loss we've had for a while, minus 16 trophies, we didn't even get enough elixir to break even for the army. You know what guys, I think it's time to end the episode here. If you've made it all the way to the end, leave a like on the video, let me know what your thoughts are about the uh, the update leak, obviously it is another ship, date, another ship update, and uh, looks pretty cool in my opinion. I'll see you shortly in a couple of hours time for another video, have a great weekend guys, peace out.